general energy update now keep in mind that these readings are timeless so if you happen to click on this video at a later date that's okay more than likely this message is for you so before we get into these messages let's run these promos and we'll be right back brooklyn new york are you ready august 27th king simon will be there etoy hairston will be there Alison negra will be there Lloyd Strayhorn will be there with special guests. Sister Kapunya Ife will be there. All happening at Nicholas Brooklyn Mini Workshop. Text now, call now to be there. Yo, family. Cosmic 19 Alignment and Enhancement Workshop featuring Billy Carson, Ellison Nedra, King Simons, Dina Devine, and Joshua Sara. Happening all in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Text me now. audio reading for only $55. For more information, go to IG at The Modern Day Sage. The best solution to your spiritual wellness is here at The Modern Day Sage. Experience that great feeling of being free with our psychic products and services, such as spiritual readings and consultations, spiritual healing through rituals, energy, and spell work. Also, shop our wide range of healing products, from bracelets, oils, to candles, and become the best version of yourself. Visit themoderndasage.com. Okay, and we're back. So, let's get into these messages um, for this current energy update. We're going to start off with the spiritual AF oracle. Get some messages messages from this deck. Focus on my spirit. Okay, so four cards came out. If you wouldn't say it to a friend, you shouldn't say it to yourself. So the thing that I'm noticing with these cards, three out of four of the cards are gray. So you could be dealing like with a gray area in your life or um, some blending of the positive and negative or, you know, blending of polar opposites. Okay, so it says if you wouldn't say it to a friend, you shouldn't say it to yourself. Check your thoughts with the simple test. When you catch yourself being a jerk, respond the way you would if someone was saying that shit to your BFF. A simple bitch please usually does a trick. Today, say as many bitch pleases to yourself as you need to shut your jerk down. We got this card um, for the collective reading oh, a couple of readings back, okay? It says here, next card, heart is the new balls. How did testicles get so hyped up as the power center of the world? The heart, my friend, has always been far more powerful than those two delicate, dangly things. Check in with your heart. Put your hands over that giant, thumping muscle and ask it straight up how it would run your day if it was given a chance. Then give it the chance. Okay, next card. You're going to cry about it if you're going to cry about it or boss up. Pro tip, do both. You can do both. The real ballers feel their feelings and do what they know is right at the same time. You 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 still the boss, even if you the crying boss. Okay, and this could be the day you stop doing that self-destructive thing you do. What's the first thing you think of when you read that self-destructive thing you do? 
there is there it is now imagine what it would be like to stop doing that thing like right now think of who you could ask for help because if you could have stopped on your on your own you probably already would have now call that person and ask for help you can even make up a safe word like bananas text because no one calls anymore anyway emoji because emojis are more effective than words okay so what i'm getting from this overall energy is having the heart to speak to yourself in a different way there are some negative energies here um with these negative energies you may be cycling through to release any destructive behaviors and having the heart to do so really listening and relying on your heart um spirit is saying here you know it's important to know that you are in charge you know and it's okay to cry about anything that you are grieving anything that you have to let go and release anything that is not working according to how you want it to work or to according to the plan that you have set up this um Chiron energy is helping to release Chiron I'll be saying Chiron this Chiron energy is really triggering emotions dealing with the self going inward and to help those emotions resurface okay so if you're finding yourself um realizing that you have some destructive behaviors or self-sabotaging behaviors and you're seeking help for those things now is a good time to do that if you haven't okay so let's get more into this reading by pulling an angel number let's see what this angel number okay let's get this angel number real quick Three, one, two, three. Okay, so the angel number we have here is 3123. Once again, that angel number is 3123. Pause this video and Google that angel number to get further messages for this reading. Okay, so we're going to start off with a Heal Yourself Oracle card. Let's see what the healing message is, the overall tone for this um, reading. And you guys, if I'm not sounding so um, bubbly and up, it's because I'm full. I had breakfast this morning, okay? And what what did i do to myself <laughs> okay but we're gonna do this reading all right let's pull a card and one just popped on out we have unleash your creativity okay so let's get this message for unleash your creativity Okay, it says, your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. Allow your imagination to roam without limits and access new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you are feeling stuck, get up and move, try new things, meet new people, read books, paint, etc. Concentrate on the areas of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others? Do you have an affinity with the gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whip up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be inventive. The more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. Okay, so this is marking the energy of being more creative putting your creations out in the world okay using your energies to 
to focus in on your creative, especially your creative abilities, especially if you are feeling um, bored or um, out of place or out of sorts in some way. Okay, so let's get some more messages. We're going to get into the bulk of this reading. Pull from the psychic tarot oracle cards. We're going to get a full spread. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Allow me to be a clear channel for these messages. As for protection of the collective and myself and translation of these messages. Thank you, ancestors, guardians, angels, and guides. Ashe. We have quite um a energy coming out here. At the bottom of the deck we have the light or or the sun energy. Okay. I'm seeing the divine feminine and the empress, the divine masculine and the um emperor. Then I have the lover's card. So this is going to be quite a powerful reading. But let's start off with what's at the bottom of the deck. With the light card. Major Arcana card. So this is a time of clarity. This is a time of success. There is light being shown in this connection. And it is a connection that we're speaking of. Because we have the Empress, the Emperor, and the lover's card coming out in this reading. Okay. At the bottom underneath the sun car is the four of wands so this speaks of commitment family foundation you know times of celebration and um promises coming to pass okay and we have another four card wow so you might want to also look up 444 four, four because we have the four of wands the four of swords and the four of pentacles Wow, this is a very deep reading. Four is bringing in major stability and foundation. So the sun energy is bringing this in, this foundation where, you know, promises are coming to pass, where you're able to actually rest and rejuvenate in these promises. And you're building some sort of firm foundation. In the deck, on in this particular deck, the four of pentacles, is one of a firm foundation having a strong foundation root chakra stable and you're able to build from that underneath that wow we have one we have the love begin the ace of cups and then we have the ace of pentacles as well prosperity begins so this is a very promising time you guys light is being shown this is speaking of success prosperity it is speaking of clarity if i did not say that already this is very very strong energy like the sun is bringing in all your promises when it comes to to financial stability loving stability um happiness contentment growth success illumination something is beginning new because we have the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups so this is speaking of some sort of um, new birth or some type of renewal here. Um, with the sun, it is considered one of the best cards in the... Um, it's, it's a very positive card in the tarot. So this is like a moment where it's time to really shine, okay? What I am seeing being that the empress and emperor is out here. This is upbringing or putting light and foundation on leadership. You know, two leaders are stepping forth. Um, this is coming into like uh, power. I'm seeing power couples here.
Yeah. So let's let's get some clarity. Let's clarify this with the chakra wisdom oracle. So it's gonna be changes happening when it comes to finances, when it comes to love. The light card is being um clarified by balance, complacency. Let's get some more renewal. So if you have felt stuck, this is bringing in um, more balance. You're going to be able to move out of this complacent energy. There's going to be some sort of delight is bringing some sort of renewal on the energies of this connection. And we're going to specifically stick with what this is. It is a connection here that we're seeing. Um, you're being offered a chance to awaken to a new life here with a divine counterpart whether you consider yourself the divine feminine or masculine you're able to anchor anchor yourself and having strong foundation once again your roots are taking um are being taken root of here okay there's a very strong foundation being laid with the complacency and renewal cards this is the root chakra so something is laying a strong foundation okay if there has been like a dark phase now the sun is coming out Okay, with the renewal card, this is another begin beginning because it is a renewal. Okay, so if there has been an ending, because we had seen that in the previous readings where a certain karmic cycle had ended, if there has been an ending, this is an opportunity for something better to come in. Okay, there's change here. But this is change where you're going to have to stay positive. Okay? And I will say that I do see some concern for that a little bit later on in the reading with the mental conflict, being at a crossroads, or having some sort of doubt. But let's let's get some more clarity in regards to this. We're going to move on to the empress card or fertility there is a lot of growth here this is a major time because we have four major arcana cards so whatever's happening is very inevitable okay but with the empress card this is speaking of the divine feminine but it's also speaking of growth abundance being aligned in the heart being illuminated in the heart having a clear um idea of what your heart is saying to you expansion is clarifying the fertility or empress card a time of major growth and expansion if there has been any blockages you're moving past those and even with those blockages it may be one of those things that you know there may be some regrets in far as far as moving on or some sort of guilt as far as moving on um, but you are moving on and this is going to be expressed through your energy because there is movement here. As I mentioned before, there has been some sort of complacency, but you're moving past that. And once you move past certain things that may have felt like blocks, you're going to see the miracles unfold from what is happening in your life due to this renewal. You know, there's a lot of throat chakra energy here. Um, from the expansion, bitter, bittersweet, and impatience. So this has a lot to do with communication. Okay. Um, there may still be some energies that you're embodying of impatience where with certain things, you know, this is where the guilt may have came in or where the blockages came in. It wasn't necessarily blocked. It was more so it was um more so in regards to timing okay 
This is really aligning to divine timing, especially in the connection. So with certain things passing on, it's meant to happen. It's inevitable. Okay. But there is celebration here. There has been hidden blessings, even though there's sadness attached to this, okay? So with this, and this is probably what's creating this mental conflict. Let's see what this mental conflict is saying here. This two of swords. You may feel like, you know, certain things have already passed you by. Certain emotions have already passed you by. You're no longer in that energy of wanting to do those things anymore. But Spirit is saying still hold that space for gratitude, okay? Gratitude is what's going to really um, give you that spark back, give you that renewal that you've been seeking in your life. If you have been feeling like stagnant or feeling bored, you know, being grateful for the opportunity is what's going to restore your faith. It's going to restore your creativity and your passion. Okay? And it's going to help you release. It's going to be a form of release therapy, especially if you can tap into any type of creative abilities that you have. Okay? With the creation card, you are a creator. The um, Empress card speaks of your creativity as well. Okay, especially if this is not necessarily, um, in, you know, you're not dealing with the partner per se, and it's just you. The Empress card is your creativity, okay? And you may be doubting your abilities at this time due to past circumstances. But once again, there is a renewal, Moving on to this emperor card, this could be dealing with the divine masculine or this could be dealing with your masculine energy, okay? And I do see that these things are coming into balance as within, so without, okay? Let's get some clarity around this emperor or authority. You got dissipating once again. Forgiveness. This is you having to forgive yourself for holding yourself back from, you know, moving forward the way that you needed to move forward because that's masculine energy, being able to exert yourself and move forward with things where you may have held yourself back, okay, due to insecurity, due to any fears that something outside of yourself would hurt you or that you would be judged in a way. Okay? You're getting some sort of enlightenment, some sort of epiphany on the things that you have have um grievance over, the things that brought you grief in your life. There's some sort of epiphany that you're having when it comes to your masculine energy. Well, this could be your masculine coming to some sort of epiphany on the things that he may grieve or they may grieve, okay? But if this is concerning you, because I do, once again, feel like it's as within, so without. So if it's not, well, it isn't if it's not, but if it's dealing directly with you, you are coming to a place of, realizing the things that's held you back and how you held yourself back and being in that forgiving space and realizing where this grief is stemming from and why you feel as if there are things outside of yourself that may harm you it may be um some sort of blocking factor okay so now with the lover's card that we have here harmony Things are coming into harmony. You're coming into harmony with your masculine and feminine energies. And if you are dealing with some sort of masculine energy, there's some sort of harmonization that's happening, okay? I'm going to get some clarity here. 
where there may have been rejection previously, you you may now start seeing more receptivity, okay? And that's even once again with yourself, where there's been certain things that you have rejected about yourself, you're starting to be more receptive of those things and dealing with those things to create more balance in your life. Things that you may have turned your back on or if this masculine has turned their back on you or vice versa, there's balance coming in. This harmony is bringing in balance and there's some sort of recovery. There's a recovery here. This has a lot to do with your upper chakras as well. Your third eye and your crown chakra. So all your upper chakras are most definitely being worked out. Your throat chakra, your third eye, and your crown chakra are coming more into alignment, more into harmony, more into balance for you to be able to know your truth, see your truth, speak your truth, express your truth, be your authentic self. Having that firm foundation for these upper chakras to align properly the way that they need. So your manifestations can come to pass because we have fulfillment of wishes. There's a fulfillment of wishes here. And this is going to bring so much passion into your life. You're going to be so impas or, um, passionate to where it's going to spread to others. You're going to be in your mission work. Let's see here. And with this passion energy. I'm going to take a look from this book quickly. Um, na, 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 na. It says this card indicates creative force, focus, and ability to ignite the passion necessary to manifest what you desire. The power of amber is the focus emotion is that focus emotion can create anything for it brings the gift of emotional discipline so this is being clarified this or this is clarifying fulfillment of wishes so it's very creative energy that you're dealing with right now it says you you are correct to feel passionate about your position follow your instincts for you know intuitively what is right for you are my daily actions supporting my real passion what am i willing to stand for following your passion being authentic Taking a stand for yourself, being acknowledged, feeling ostracized by family, friends, being emotionally centered, strong feminine energy, a happy outcome. Okay, so the feminine energy is most definitely taking the lead at this time as the masculine follows this energy to bring support and structure for the divine feminine whether that's within self or as, you know, as within, so without. Okay? So let's get some more energies out here to clarify this reading further. Let's get some more messages. Okay, we are going to pull from the Archangel Oracle. Okay, so two cards came out. Archangel Shamayel, open your heart to give and receive love. Your essence is love. And Archangel Gabriel, shimmer your diamond light. Express your creativity. <clears throat> okay, starting with Archangel Shamayel. Okay, Archangel Shamayel is a beautiful white and pink angel of love. His etheric retreat is above St. Louis, Missouri. And here in his in sleep or meditation, you can access and be filled by his compassion. He overlights Central and South America and the Caribbean. All aspects of love are held in the 33 chambers of your heart chakra. And Archangel Shamayel helps you explore these. 
When you are ready, he enables you to connect your heart center to Venus, the cosmic heart, to receive a flow of pure transcendent love or light. Excuse me, light. Um, This pours through you when you are ready to receive the frequency of unconditional acceptance. Archangel Shamayel endeavors to connect us all from heart to heart to bring about oneness on earth. Love is everything. Guidance. When you receive this card, your guidance is to reevaluate all your relationships with eyes of love. Open your heart to everyone, especially those who are challenging. When you can accept them as they are, your heart chakra radiates a glorious white pink light. Your aura becomes warm and inviting and people behave differently towards you. Look at personal and world situations with a wise, compassionate heart. Do not enter into dramas and thought, word, or deed. Rather, ask Archangel Shamayel to help you raise your vibrations of lower situations with the power of your heart energy. You are being reminded that your heart is your most important spiritual center. Connect with the Archangel Shamayel and attract loving and gracious situations into your life. Okay, and Archangel Gabriel. What's so interesting about these two different Archangels is one is pink and the other is blue. So we have a masculine and feminine aspect here. Okay, so it says here, shimmer white, diamond light, create your create or express your creativity. Archangel Gabriel is shimmering white, representing purity, clarity, joy, and creativity. His diamond lit etheric retreat is above Mount Shasta, California. And from there, he oversees the purification of humanity and the planet. He helps you aspire to higher levels of light and enables you to find clarity and make wise, deci- wise decisions by placing his cosmic diamond over you. This cuts away any negativity so that you can see the... Or I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to, like, rush through this reading because, <laughs> like I said, oh, I'm so full. All right. I don't know. I am. Um, like, I ate a oh, waffle. full. <laughs> I ate a waffle and, like, didn't spare any crumbs. Like, I ate everything, so. I'm full. And then water on top of that. And then hash browns. Let me keep on going. (laughs) All right. So, hmm. Okay. So it says here this cuts away any negativity so that you can view the situation from an enlightened perspective. He illuminates you with love and bliss. Archangel Gabriel also holds the blueprints for your ascended base, sacral, and navel chakras. In your ascended base chakra, you hold total trust that the universe will provide for you. In your sacral, uh, in your sacral, perfect, radiant sexual and emotional health, and in your navel, oneness. On a communal level, Archangel Gabriel is assisting fifth dimensional communities to emerge. Drawing this card suggests that you are seeking clarity about a person or situation. Sit quietly and ask Archangel Gabriel for guidance. Visualize his vast, shimmering cosmic diamond being placed right over your energy fields to hold you in the highest light. As this happens, know that old ideas and outmoded viewpoints are being released and that your frequency is rising. This will enable to see everything from an enlightened perspective. Archangel Gabriel will also support you in writing, art, or any other form of creative expression. This is a time for joy, wisdom, and a new trust in the universe. So demonstrate these qualities today. Okay. Let us get some more messages from the Keepers of the Light. Okay, Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Okay, Lord Ganesh. (laughs) 
Ganesh, also known as Ganapate, is the Hindu elephant-headed god, the son of Lord Shiva and the goddess Parvati. Legend says he received his elephant hand as a replacement after his father sliced his human one off when he mistook, mistook him for an intruder. Ganesh is acknowledged as the lord who removes obstacles and is loved by taxi drivers in India because they believe he helps them weave in in and out of crazy traffic. Ganesh is a sweet tooth, life-loving, joyful, dancing, and very approachable God. He will use his light to weave a perfect path for you. It is important at this time to move beyond the limitations of it's not meant to be and focus on if this is for my highest good, then the universe will take me there safely. Ganesh is not only bringing a clear light to your external situation, but also helping you clear up any inner conflicts. When obstacles arise, know that they are just reminders that you care about your path and that you have the ability to change your current situation. Ganesh is here to help you. Thank him for clearing the way to increase your connection to him. You may want to chat, chant in Sanskrit, Am Gam Ganapate Namaha. Okay, awesome. Let's get some messages from the Work Your Light Oracle. We're going to go with these two cards that flipped over. Answer the call and the initiation. Okay, so answer the call. Let's see here. Answer the call. I opened it right on the page. Okay, so it says, what is your soul calling you to do? Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it is is leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistant we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Okay, and the initiation. Rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred, but only the initiate can enter. The initiated can enter. Perhaps that's where you are right now. You are being tested. What? What? Okay, I'm. <laughs> this is what I said in last in the weekend re- reading, the last reading. That I think it was a weekend reading that Spirit was testing us over the weekend. This weekend. 
But it says here, you are being tested, initiated, because you are headed somewhere sacred. Initiation is required that we cross the threshold from one world or state of being to the next. We are called to face what scares us and have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, of security, of safety, of depth, of meaning. Initiations, like rites of passage, marks the shift from one age to the next. It can take place because of emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or devastation. But it is through the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into more of who we are and who we came here to be. It can be painful and scary, but once we begin the journey, we can be more ourselves than ever before. If you are in the middle of an initiation right now, you will get through it. And one day soon... You will bless the thing that broke you down and cracks you open because the world needs you to open. You are going somewhere sacred. It will be worth it. And you're closer than you think. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to pull from the Starseed Oracle. Let's get some messages. From the Star Seed Oracle. Okay, and we have weight of the world, boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Okay, you don't need to carry it all. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty. And bogged down by the weight of the world. This card is a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's. To stop carrying the world's problems on your shoulders. To put on your own oxygen mask first. In these changing times, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take on its problems from a place of energetic depletion. This card is thanking you for caring so much. You want to build a better world and ease the road for others, and that's incredible. But the way you've been doing so is likely unsustainable. This isn't to say you should switch off to the world's problems and become unconscious. Rather, it is a call to establish clear boundaries so you're not um, constantly taken out energetically. The planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. So instead of digesting the news or reaching for your phone as soon as you wake up, show up first to a nourishing practice such as meditation, soul inquiry, deep breathing, hmm, or exercise in nature. See, that's very interesting because that was mentioned in the last reading as well as far as having some sort of breathing practice in place, okay? So once you're in the state of the grace, and your inner well is full, you can face the day, the state of the world, and the cares of others. And at the end of the day, take an energetic shower by emptying out anything that's not yours to carry. You can pick it up again the next morning if you choose. But give yourself time and space to rejuvenate and rest. That's exactly what Spirit was saying in the beginning. Like, this is, you're coming into a state of even being able to rest and rejuvenate a bit. Okay. Okay, so let's get a self care oracle card and then we're going to wrap this up with the Isis oracle. Mm. Make an altar. This may very well be like a, to a deity or to your ancestors. All right. To your Ori. Goddess altar. Okay, it says, Mantra, I dedicate space for my sacred ritual practices. An altar is a place to gather sacred objects. Set intentions, reflect, pray, and feel connected to your spirit. 
in the universe, whether simple or elaborate, permanent or temporary, small or big, inside a home or outside in nature, it is a space for honoring the people, places, things, and activities that enrich the soul. Tune in to what feels right for you. Do you need to refresh your altar space or create a new one? You can create anything from a money altar to a fertility altar, but whatever direction you go in, begin with intention. Look inside yourself for clarity on what you want to focus on. Photos, crystals, candles, animal totems, and objects to represent the five elements, air, earth, water, fire, and ether are all perfect items to use. Intuitively select items that feel right and meaningful to you. Craft your altar to reflect your own creative power and the sacredness you bring to everyday life. Sit in front of it and focus on manifesting your intentions. Remember that the altar itself does not hold the power of manifestation, but the energy within you as you interact with it does. That one's very powerful. And being that Ganesh came up, you know, you might want to create an altar to one of the deities of the roads, the road openers. But that's Ganesh, um, Papalegba, Ishu, Ileg, Ilegwa, Ilebra. Am I saying it right? Who else? Who else opens the road? Yeah. Pompagir. Pompagir. She's a crossroad uh, deity. Um, Is there anybody else? I'm sure it's others. Okay, we're going to wrap up with Isis Oracle. All right. Our final card is Isis Oracle. too many spirits oh my gosh no one card okay divine destiny path of the divine warrior The divine warrior guides you to your divine destiny. The divine warrior energy exists within men and women as the inner propulsion to continue with the worthy path even during diff- times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon, summon more of him or herself to the cause. It might be more wisdom, focus, intelligence, and surrender into the divine the warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination this part of you will lead you to um, spiritual success the oracle of divine destiny is a call to your divine warrior this part of you has great self-esteem and believes that what you desire is worth whatever effort personal growth application focus and attention are required to obtain it provided in lines with your divine destiny This part of you acts in personal integrity, and if the goal will compromise integrity, then the goal is refined until it shines like a diamond in your heart. Then the divine warrior will bring it into being. The path of the divine warrior is not one of any means to an end. The means and the end are considered equally important. The divine warrior will succeed in bringing about your divine destiny, but It would be done in a way that is in integrity with deep spiritual values. There are important teachings on the path of the feminine about the need for surrender and allowing for the best manifestation. The divine warrior is not at odds with these, but continually, continuously, continually surrenders um, into the great greater unfoldment and play of cosmic forces seeking to align with those forces for greater for greatest power and flow 
The oracle of divine destiny often comes at a time when there is something that you feel you are struggling to attain. It may be a vague sense or a clear vision. There is something within your heart that you have almost given up hope on. Wondering if it has ever really wondering if it is ever really going to come together. This oracle comes with the pat with the message that although you may feel struggle or challenge, it is not a sign to step away in this situation. It is a sign to put your faith in the divine warrior within instead. This warrior may shift approach, change expectation, go within to find the resources you require or find a completely different path to get you to your destiny. Do not give up the fight. If you are not sure to what this applies, ask yourself what is in your life that you feel you are fighting to attain or maintain. Find what it is, not in form, but in essence. If it's your job that you are fighting for, then it may be your freedom and responsibility that you are really fighting for, as an example. If you are fighting your weight or eating habits, then it might be the right to express your true feelings that you are fighting for. With your body as the divine warrior, refusing to give up the right to truthful expression, Find the truth of what you are working towards and keep your heart and mind centered in that truth. Your divine warrior will get you what you need and deeply desire in alignment with your best and highest divine destiny. You deserve no less. Mm. All right, there you have it, you guys. These are the messages for... This general energy update. If these messages resonate with you, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video, everybody. And click that notification bell to be notified when I upload a, another video. If you want to book a reading with me, my information is in the description box below. If you are interested in the $55 reading, which will end at the end of August, be sure to contact me on IG at the Modern Day Sage, okay, to get that coupon code to order your reading today. Now, Keep in mind, these readings are really going, okay? So if you do want to order reading, please be patient with the delivery of your reading. Okay, you guys. So final messages is just keep on ascending higher, okay? Until next time, love and light. I'm signing off. Namaste. Modern Day Sage has really blessed my life. Her reading sessions are life changing and really get you in tune and on the right path. I felt so much clearer about my place in the universe now that I have a totally new outlook about my path. She also has a wide assortment of spiritual products that can really raise the vibrations even more with oils, bracelets, and sprays perfect for clearing out the energy. And if that ain't enough, she also has services from Reiki spells and rituals that are sure to bring you to a state of peace and awareness. Check her out now at themoderndaysage.com or the Modern Day Sage on Instagram. Or give her a call at 800 774-4554 to book your appointment. Enlightenment is only a click away. The Spirit will thank you.